YouTube, welcome back. Got some good news and some bad news. So let me go into the bad news first and then I'll tell you the good news. Bad news is myself and Tang, which he's in jail over here in this quarantine, not a quarantine tank, but the other part of uh, the system. So he's kind of pissed off. He's over there, I don't care. What he was doing, he was um, taking chunks out of my Zoas and I don't know if he was just eating them some of them are just spitting them, swimming around, spitting them out. But um, he's like he's got one over here, a little colony right over there. Um, it'd be cool if they if they don't die and they start growing. Uh, they're right at the right level for the light, which is kind of cool. And so he did damage under this one. He was he ate all of this under here. And no, that that part's okay. So it, I mean, he he took some pieces off of that. Um, did he do anything with my blue zones? No, I don't think he touched those because those have been in there longer. He went after, let me move around this side. He really went after this one. These ones are my blue and green ones, which I really like these ones. He took the whole end off there. Right from the, it kind of goes from the top of that zone that's next to it, but to the right. He took the whole end of it off right there. They're all touching and laying on that one, almost touching the other green zoa colony right there. So he did that. Um, he took half. He took more than half of this colony off this rock, and spit it out over here. So hopefully this can get blurry, but hopefully that little colony will just stay in that rock. It's a nice little cove for him, but hopefully they'll stay in there and start growing. Oh, and there's, you know, there's more, look, in the, below that one too. So he's spit these things out everywhere. This orange Zoa rock, he took little bites right out of there, right there, right over here, right in the center, a big chunk off there. He ruined the chunk over there. And, um, no, he didn't, touch, he didn't touch that side, I don't think. But he just demolished the top of that, that whole thing, so... Um, so he's going to be traded for a zoa colony since he decided to eat them. He's not staying in this tank anymore. It really sucks. I didn't had no idea tangs will will do that to corals. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard it, but I've never heard of it. So that's why I've had tangs and you know corals together. So it's a learning lesson. Um, I don't know why he started doing it. There's been zoas in here before, but just not big colonies like this and uh, so here's the good news um, my my um, green stylo is completely a different shape now it's got all these little uh, nobs or little parts where it's starting to grow so it's a lot uh, bigger than it was it's sort of like fatter looking all the little branches and it's got all these little uh, nobs on there and they're lighter green so I know they're growing there's probably one let me count them while, I, while I'm talking at least 10 different areas where I know it's starting to grow which is really cool so um, I had to change my lo my rocks around because the tang was hiding the rocks and so I took them moved the corals over and got them out of the rocks and uh, so the rocks I'm gonna leave them like this because um, there's a, a cave right through here and this mp40 and I moved one over here to that side that mp40 um, it's kinda like a high and low so it's it's actually has current going through the whole center rock structure through here uh, which is working pretty nice and uh, so I put a little bit of real estate right here like put some corals in and then you know the stylos up there and then the zoa gardens right here and then this is gonna be some more acans all through this area. Now why why I have it like this, um, I'm checking with a PAR meter and adjusting my lights again to get it dialed in, but I'm gonna have the Zoas in about 100 PAR at that level where they're at, and then uh, the acans 70 or under, between 50 and 70. Um, that one likes 70, and anything over 50 for this green and purple and green one, he doesn't like it, he kinda, he'll shrink up. You know, so I'm going to leave him 
on that little a little higher and see what see where the uh, I gotta check pars all over the tank now to make sure everything's still where it needs to be. I need the uh, stylo. He was at 175 before, and that was he's he's growing. So I'm gonna do what um, what's been happening. So he's either adjusted to it, may not be enough, but um, I see growth and he's doing well. So I'm not gonna change anything with him. All right. So that was it. I just had that bad news with that stupid self in Tang eating my Zoas and picking at them. All right, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one.